Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I got some really good news. Um, the channel's back in my possession, and I am just tickled to death. I was so excited when I found out this morning that it's back in my possession. So it's going to take a lot of hard work to put it back to what it was because the hacker changed a bunch of things in there. I uh, changed uh, the privacy settings to a bunch of videos so I'll have to take them from private back to videos that can be viewed. I uh, got rid of my biography, changed my thumbnail pictures, changed uh, my heading picture above, my profile picture there. But uh, when you go to my channel right now uh, you'll know it's me because my profile picture is back to my new Dirt Grain Steel logo and then the background picture is a picture of me standing next to the HX220 Honda Excavator. So if you go back to my channel, you'll see all those. I am in full control of that channel. It is okay to comment there again. Uh, the only thing that I could not change yet is I can't change it back to Dirt Grain and Steel. I have to wait 13 days. It's kind of a Google thing and a YouTube thing. I wait 13 days and I can put it back to my name. So as of right now, it's going to be that stupid monies channel. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the new channel that I made up and running for now, uh, which that channel is The Real Dirt Grain and Steel. And I'm actually going to post this video to both for all of you that unsubscribed, which is perfectly fine. You unsubscribed from my hack channel. Um, I'm going to let that 13 days go up, I'm going to change it all back to the way it's supposed to be, and I've got all the passwords backed up with tons of authentication, we're going to work on a new uh, uh, spyware program and stuff for the computer, in fact I'm pitching the old laptop and I'm going to order me a new Apple computer with all the best of the best in it. Um, so I've learned a lot from this. So. In 13 days, 14 days, I'll make another video and I'll cross post it on both channels to let you know what's going on. And when the, the coast is clear, but I wanna make sure the coast is definitely clear. And if it is, everybody can come back to the dirt green steel that I started with, with all the subscribers, all the watched minutes. And then the other one, maybe we'll just leave these hacked videos on uh, just for quick reference, if somebody else has this issue and they can hear my story on there, um, I can just direct them over to that channel really quick instead of having to dig through all my videos or we'll make a playlist out of them or something. Well, actually, we'll have to leave the old channel because I deleted the first video of this whole hacking adventure. So, uh, to fill you in, my hack happened on... It happened March 8th is the day that it happened, and by 6 a.m. the next morning, I was hacked. Uh, I opened up an email. Uh, when I opened up that email, it was from Logitech. It looked completely legitimate. They talked about how they wanted to use me as a sponsor to get the word out about their, their stuff for computers, which I was intrigued because I play Farming Simulator in Logitech makes all of the uh, controls for farming simulators. So like your steering wheel and your, your throttle and your joysticks and stuff for running the equipment. So I got really excited when I got that email. I thought, oh cool, I'll get this and then I can do some videos of farming simulator because I love playing a game. I play it almost every night. So I clicked, I opened that email and boom, a file was in there. That file downloaded, infected my computer and by 6 a.m. the next morning, all my stuff was hacked. So, I panicked. Looking back, I shouldn't have panicked. Um, got here to the shop, told my mom what had happened. We automatically changed all my bank information, moved all that stuff around so that if the hacker got into personal info, he couldn't go any farther and get into that. Uh, we got that figured out. Uh, my sister sat for probably three or four hours and continued to try to figure things out to get back into my account and couldn't gain access back to my account. Sorry, the furnace kicked on. I didn't know that was going to happen. So anyways, couldn't get back into my account. Uh, we tried and we tried and we tried. 
So she actually made a claim with the FBI, and we're still going to follow through with this, uh, for cyber security, cyber theft. Uh, it's a big thing. If they push it, we'll see what happens. I don't know what they're going to do with that. So we got all that done. Well, I still couldn't get in. So I'm sitting back on the river levee and kind of just steaming because this guy's got my YouTube. He's sucking off my accomplishments. You know, he's using my YouTube content to, to basically make money off of. He's got live videos going, so that's putting strikes up against me because these live videos are going all day long and just, just screwing my whole channel up. So I'm sitting back there and I looked down at my phone and it was uh, a friend of mine from Canada and you may have remembered him. He was on Mythbusters at one time for excavator stuff. So they've done a whole Mythbusters thing on that. Well, he's from Canada and he was a YouTuber also. And he's like, I see you kind of screwed up. I'm like, yeah, I screwed up. So he's like, well, don't lose hope. And he said, at one point, you probably set up your Google account with another email address, like a Hotmail address. I'm like, yeah, I think you're right. He's like, okay. He said, go home, get back on your laptop, try to log into YouTube, or try to log into Google. So I go back home, and up until now, I was getting, I was getting to the point where I need verification codes that I didn't have, or I needed a Bluetooth device, a USB device, with some kind of number on it to get into Google, which I had no idea what any of that was. I don't have that, which I'm going to have now. Um, so anyways, I clicked it one more time. I'm giving up hope. I clicked it one more time and it said, uh, we will send you a code to your Hotmail address. I'm like, okay. So I go there, I get that code. So I come back and I type that in and it says, okay, we'll review your account in 48 hours and we will let you know what we come up with. So I did that. So anyways, at the same time, we watched a bunch of videos. Madison was watching a bunch of videos. My friend Zach was watching a bunch of videos. And we came up with that if you go to Team YouTube on Twitter, and you tell them that you've been hacked on the Twitter page, you tell them you've been hacked, they will reach out to you and give you a form to fill out to get back into your YouTube account or Google account. I keep saying YouTube or Google, they're all the same. So anyways, um, Madison does this, does this, uh, the, what would it be? Thursday night she does this. It stays up pretty much all night because it's kind of like it was kind of like a robot or something she was talking to. Gets through to them, gets the form the next morning. So gets that form, and I tell her just hold off. We're gonna wait on the 48-hour one. Well, I got home last night, which was Friday night. I got home, and she's like, "Hey, let's fill this form out. Let's get this done because we only have 72 hours." So I'm like, well, what if we're already doing the one that's 48 hours and we do this form? What if they kind of cross and screw everything up? Well, last night we went out to dinner. We got back to my friend Zach and Kayla's. We sit down and we start filling this form out because Zach's got excellent internet service. Well, we start filling it out and there's questions on there that are kind of difficult. But if you sit there and you think things through and you have screenshots of your channel, I, I encourage you to take screenshots of your channel every so often and just save them. Different parts of your channel, uh, different parts of your editor, things like that that you can get clues from. So we sat there and between all of us, we were able to figure out all the questions. We had to get some different URLs from different videos of mine and we plugged them all into this form. I put in the date that I was hacked. I put in all that, the la uh, title and description of the last video that I had made, which was easy enough because somehow oddly I had a screenshot of it in my phone. So we got all that done. And then they also asked for a, like a picture ID of your channel, which I had a screenshot of that. So I sent them that. We went through all this and then 
at about 4.30 this morning, I woke up for some reason, I look over at my phone, I grab it, I look at an email, and it says um, something along the lines of reset your password, your, your account was definitely hacked, uh, we have verified it was hacked. I got into it, I went through all the steps, reset all the passwords, reset all the verifications, and boom, I'm back into my channel. I got everything back. So we're back into it. I'm happy now. I'm just tickled to death that we're back into it. I never thought we were gonna get back into it. So if this happens to you, don't panic. Follow through with, some, with the steps. And, and try to get on Twitter, get to Team YouTube. It took like 10 times of Madison tweeting, saying that, that we were hacked, and then somebody finally got with her and got an email address to send a form to and got us back in. So I'm not sure which one exactly worked the quickest, but they both led us to the same form because the one in 48 hours was gonna get the form also, uh, from what I understand, and then the one from Team YouTube was going to get us the same form. So they both either, they work together or one beat the other to it, not exactly sure there, but all that matters is we're back into the channel and it can be done. Um, don't lose hope because you can get back in your channel. So anyways, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for everyone that's, that shared the channel on Facebook and stuff. That actually helped me ID my channel and get it back. So... Moving forward here, like I said, um, I'll let you know when the coast is clear to actually come back to the original one. I mean, you can come back to the original one now. You can start commenting, putting positive comments on all my videos, go back through and re-comment on some, try to get the ball rolling again, uh, being as everything was so messed up. Uh, give me a bunch of likes. Um, subscribes always help. <laughs> You could even take some videos and just uh, turn them on and let them play while you're doing something else. That would help me to get going again. Uh, it's just unfortunate that these hackers can do the things that they can do. Um, you know, they're probably sitting in their grandma's basements. They don't have a job. They, they, they're sucking off other people's accomplishments, and it's sad that that can happen. So, uh, anyways, just wanted to get up on here and... Uh, do a quick follow-up video so everybody knows what's going on. So thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.